Zahira, do you relate to this lady's vent? Well, one thing that I see in the stories is that literally there's a system. The first thing that he does is turn your back around to me. I will heal you. It's the same pattern. It's the same pattern. It's, it's sickening, actually. I didn't think that someone would do this for so long. I think it's okay in his own head. And, and why uh, you didn't report to the police right away? Because I was really afraid. I was afraid that they would send me dark spirits. That was the energy that I was getting from it. Like, they were threatening. I was afraid that, like, my life would be miserable. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep. They would follow me in my dreams. Because before I came to Abhijanya, he, and a lot of people say this, the moment you decide and book your ticket to go, the entities start working on you, the energy starts moving. So he appeared in my dreams. And so I was afraid, oh, well, if this is, this is possible, they can work to me through my dreams. So I was very afraid. And now I feel protected and I know the truth needs to come out. Amy, what about, what about you? When you saw abuse taking place, what did you do? I wrote a letter to my lawyer saying that if I didn't make it back, here's what happened. I received death threats. They didn't talk to me about dark energy because it wouldn't have worked. But they were, you're a white woman and white women disappear in Brazil all the time. So you should leave now, get on a plane and leave now. The Casa people told you? Oh, us. yes. How do the Casa workers react? Because I was friends with many of them, when I told the truth to them, um, my goal was to make him stop. I had heard this uh, phrase, in Brazil, what goes on behind closed doors is nobody's business, many times. <laughs> but I knew that this had to stop. It was abhorrent. It was a terrible thing. And the only way I could think of is if the Casa workers didn't allow people to be alone with him. So I told them, this is what happens. Wake up. This is... <sighs> Some of them cried. One of them told me that she had wiped the mouth of a little girl and was oh. told that it was ectoplasm. And it didn't occur to her, because she was so indoctrinated, that it was actually... Um, Sim. ejaculate semen and then she said oh and then he gives them lunch there's a special room across from the casa where people can sit if you're a little if you're a special yeah and you get lunch yeah you get some food so she would give the children food and she began crying and shaking and said oh my god i did not know so for a little while they tried to stop him the good people but then the good people left because they couldn't take it anymore. 